That is worldview. The next concept I'm going to introduce is magic versus sorcery. These are very real forces. These are very real energies that are, that are being used all around us at all times in the world. And um, they're, they're very real, but they're quite different from the Hollywood interpretation or definition. Um, a real magician or sorcerer isn't you know, casting lightning bolts from his fingertips, but he is using forces at work in the world to create what he wishes to create. And here's the definition of magic. This is what magic actually is in the real world. Magic is a science. It's, it's a science and art of influencing change to occur in accordance with the will. Now that's a very important term there at the end. Will with a capital W. Okay? Whole books, whole volumes have pretty much been written about what that means. And this does not mean the practitioner's egoic will. My will, my desire, what I want to see happen, what I want to see done. This is the will of the energy of creation. It is the will of love. It is the will of that polar force that wants to create order, the divine intelligence inherent in creation, in the energy of creation. Now, you can call that whatever you want. I have no problem calling that God. I have no problem calling that the divine. This is the divine will. But you could think of it however you wish to think of it. Um, so that's what magic is. The science and art of influencing change to occur in accordance with the will, capital W, the divine will. Let thy will be done, not my egoic will. Okay? Magic's goal is the state of non-dualism. We talked about this before. This is the state of dominion, the state of not being able to be torn apart internally. This is the state of as you think, so you feel, and so you act. You are non-dual. You are one within. Your three aspects of your consciousness are one and cannot be torn apart. As you think, so you feel, so you act. That is magic's goal. A true magician is trying to bring the state of non-dualism into being, not only within himself, but with anyone else that he may have the ability to influence and inspire. And the process of this, of, of, of a, a magician's process to create the state of non-dualism is known as alchemy. And alchemy is not this medieval concept of turning actual metals, base metals, into gold. This is an allegory. This is a symbolic allegory of helping to raise base consciousness into solar consciousness, into divine consciousness. You know, non-dual consciousness, uh, harmonic with the, with the resonant energy of love, of order, of a unified brain, the unified male and female energies. So that's what an alchemist is really trying to do. He is attempting to inspire others and be an influence for them to raise their consciousness up to a higher level. That's what the process of alchemy is. And that's a magician's vehicle for doing his work to accomplish non-dualism. The opposite of magic is sorcery. And as you see here, the definition is almost identical. Sorcery is the science and art of influencing change to occur in accordance with the will. And you'll notice that the will is no longer capitalized, lowercase w, Okay, because this form of will is not the capital W will. It is not the divine energy. It is not the divine aspect of creation, the divine will. This is the sorcerer's own egoic desires. What I want. What I want to accomplish for my ends. Let not thy will be done. Let my will be done. So sorcery also has a goal. And what it is trying to, to create and bring into the world is the state of opposition. Opposition 
is the state when polar forces are at war with each other and there is struggle, there is conflict, there is suffering, there is chaos. Moreover, it means that sorcery wants to create, and a sorcerer wishes to create an opposition within an individual. This is the opposition that takes place within us. We don't, we aren't unified uh, in the way we think, feel, and act. We may think a certain way or feel a certain way about something, and yet we do something that's in opposition to that. So we're torn apart from within. The three aspects of our consciousness are not unified as one. They are torn apart. So in that aspect, the person is in internal opposition where they are crucified within themselves, it can, it can be seen as. And the actual methodologies that are used to accomplish this state of opposition, both within an individual and in the external world, is the sorcerer's tools of illusion and manipulation. It is getting people to believe in something that simply is not real and it does not serve their interest in the world, does not serve who we are and, and how we are really meant to live. And it creates disharmony and strife and suffering in the world. They want to try to get people to believe that way because it may benefit them. Even though it doesn't benefit the whole, it may benefit them so that they profit and they come out on top and everyone else suffers. That's what a sorcerer is really trying to do. And uh, they use illusion and manipulation, playing people off against each other, manipulating them, getting them to see things that they want them to, in a way that they want them to see, it, getting them to believe in things that aren't real, don't serve them, and yet then people develop an attachment to it. And that's really what creates all suffering. So that's what magic and sorcery is really about as they are used in the real world. So 